I think people sometimes forget that biology is really miraculous. One of the most ordinary things to happen is for a baby to be born. But if you pause and think about that, that baby came from one cell. How does that happen? How does that cell know to put the head on the top and the feet at the bottom? That, to me, is a million times more interesting than making a new phone app. I think cells are the most interesting things in the world. That is what we are. We're made up of cells. There's a cell called a stem cell that can be told to become any part of the body. So imagine that you can take a cell and tell it to become a cardiac muscle cell. We can grow those cells now in a Petri dish, and they will beat the same way Edgar Allan Poe talked about the beating heart. It's fun to think about what it'd mean to be human in the future if you could replace body parts that have been damaged by disease. It's analogous to replacing parts of your car and then having it keep going. That's really going to change what it means to be a human being. Another advance that's possible because of stem cells is to use them to understand why people get sick. If you have a cell, and it can become any part of the body, and we have diseases where cells are defective, Let's just connect those dots. My own work is focused on trying to make pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells that are broken in diabetics, the cells that make insulin. When my son Sam was six months old, he got type 1 diabetes. So I did what any parent does, is say, that's bad and I'm not going to stand for that. I want to do something about it. And it might sound overly ambitious, but I want to eliminate that disease. I want to transplant people with insulin-producing cells, and then they will no longer worry about what they eat, how much exercise they're doing, measure their blood sugar. We will be in human clinical trials in the next couple of years, and that will prove whether or not the cells we've made, which work so well to cure diabetes in rodents and other animals, whether they work in humans. In 1921, insulin was discovered. A hundred years of people injecting themselves with insulin. It'd be great if by the hundred year mark, I could say no more injections people are going to get insulin producing cells and we'll move on to other diseases. I don't think it's impossible. I think that can be done. And maybe we'll talk again sometime in the future when we've done it. <laughs>